TGIF, folks. Hey, Made Kim. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's Friday. Are yes. Happy Friday. This is uh, one, another Periscope for you. So it's how exciting. <laughs> I know. TGIF. And you know what? The weather, for the most part, not everywhere, looking pretty nice as we head into the weekend. So All right. And that's why we're doing this. We want people to know what's going on this weekend across the U.S. Uh, what's going on, Cam? Well, first, let's start off with Friday. We do have some severe weather potential for Friday. We'll get to that first before we get to the, the good news, I guess. All right, sure. Let me go to the graphic here. We do have some severe thunderstorms that are going to fly around for Friday, and that's because we do have this cold front just hovered across the Midwest, and there's going to be an area low pressure that forms right along that front near Kansas City, and that's going to help really fire up some thunderstorms, especially into the afternoon into the evening time. We're already starting to see some of the thunderstorms fire up already. That could bring in the potential for damaging winds, heavy rainfall, and also an isolated tornado possible. We've got a lot of instability along this front. So Friday, looking a bit wet for a lot of the area um, across the Midwest. We are looking at some stormy conditions, but that is not going to be the same as we head into the weekend. We got to get to the good news, right? As we head into the weekend, you're probably wondering, all right, Cam, what am I expecting? Is it beach Someone weather? just said northeast, so that's yes. where you're coming. <laughs> all right, I'm heading to the northeast. That frontal system that's bringing that severe weather across the central plains, well, that's going to shift on off to the east into the northeast, but it'll weaken quite a bit by the time it gets here. So mostly isolated showers right along that frontal system, mainly into western PA and western New York. The main energy of that front will be well off in the north. So that's why we're really not going to see too much of a rainmaker as we head into the weekend. What you will notice, though, is a big cool down behind that front. So Saturday still looking very warm. Could see an isolated shower, mainly in the western PA and western New York. But overall, still pleasant conditions across the northeast. In fact, pleasant we can head out to the beaches, in fact. Yeah, they were wondering about um, northern New Jersey as well. So that goes up. Yes, so we are looking at pleasant weather, northern New Jersey. Things will get a little bit more humid though. We're going to see a more of a west southwesterly flow that tends to bring in some more humid air. Not going to be oppressively humid, not like a bearable summer months, but a lot of sunshine and storms. So actually not a bad weekend to head out to the Jersey Shore, whether it's Wildwood or, you know, Avalon, wherever you like to go. Um, definitely a beautiful beach weekend. Awesome. Yes, Paul, it does sound good. He said, sounds like awesome, cool weather too. <laughs> that is. It yeah, is. great, great. And what what did you say? Um, yes, yeah, someone said seaside, that's for sure. Seaside <laughs> is going to be gorgeous, lots of sunshine, and we are looking at a, a lot of warmth, actually. Uh, kind of unusual to see it this warm across the Northeast for this year. And also we're going to see the warmth along the Lone Star State as well. That tail end of that front I mentioned earlier stretches as far down as Texas. So we could see some spotty showers, mainly along West Texas, but behind it some cooler weather in places like Oklahoma and then the Texas Panhandle. We'll see a big cool down. And many of you probably do want to head to the beaches this weekend. It's just absolutely gorgeous, even the South Seas. But keep in mind from the Carolinas, even as far north as possibly Ocean City, far north as Ocean City, down to the Florida coastline, what's happening is we have this area low pressure. It's a coastal storm that's going to bring in some very gusty conditions. So right along the coastline, actually, if you're heading to the beaches, do be careful. We could see potential for rip currents and very windy weather. And again, that's because that low pressure is going to move off, give Florida a break from the rain, but that's going to mean some windy weather across the coastline, some choppy waters out there, rip currents possible. So stay close to lifeguards if possible. All right. Well, thanks so much, Cam, for giving us this weekend weather here. Anything else to add to our Periscope viewers? What's your um, Twitter handle again? You said you were... It is Cam Tran Live. Follow me on Twitter or you can follow me on Facebook at Meteorologist Cam Tran. Awesome. And everyone, you can follow AccuWeather, at AccuWeather as well as at Breaking Weather for our Breaking Weather updates. Aloha, guys. All right. Bye.